Welcome back to Limitless TV for our seven spiritual practices and today's practice is lament. Today's spiritual practice is lament. What does lament mean? Lament means to express grief, sorrow, disappointments, your anxiety. And we're going to look at Psalm 22. We're going to look at the Psalmist David, how he's honesty, he's praying and he's, he's honest with God. And, and today is, I want us to be as honest as possible with God, but also to remind ourselves of the faithfulness and the character of God. So let's go to Psalm 22. If you got your Bibles or your devices, get it out, let's go. It reads as follows, it says, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far from saving me from the words of my groaning? Oh my God, I cry by day, but you do not answer, and by night, but I find no rest. Yet you are wholly enthroned on the praises of Israel. In you our fathers trusted, they trusted and you delivered them. To you they cried and were rescued. In you they trusted and were not put to shame. Listen to that psalm. The, just how it started with David's honesty. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Have you ever prayed that prayer? My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Where are you in my situation? And you know, in verse one and two, David expresses his heart to God. And I want to just share a story about my father. When I was 10 years old, my father left me with my brother and my three sisters. And it was a tough time. And when I gave my life to Jesus, I found it difficult to connect with the heart of the Father because my earthly father wasn't there for me. And I remember I had a pen and a paper and I just wrote down all my expressions, my disappointment, my anxieties, I wrote it down on a paper. And I just shared my heart with God. And you know what? God wants us to share honestly with Him. You know, sharing our hearts and our thoughts with Him. So number one is the honesty. And then in verse 3 and verse 5, David now reminds him about the faithfulness of God. And it's almost like he's waking up and says, My God, my forefathers prayed to you and you rescued them. And you know, with my father leaving, when I started realizing about the faithfulness of God, I looked in the Bible and God's word declares that he's the father to the fatherless that he's faithful, that he's loving, he's caring. And now the Psalm changes, David's Psalms just changes there. And you know, I wanna give you some spiritual practice that you could try and, and, and express yourself in, in this way. So number one is find yourself a quiet place away from distractions. Turn your phone off or put it away, get away from people, only you and God alone. Find yourself a quiet place where there's no distractions. Number two is find a paper and a pen and write your feelings down. Listen, it doesn't need to be 10, it can be 100. It doesn't matter how many, write it down how you feel, your disappointments, your anxieties, your feelings of, 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 of inadequacy, write it down. And then the third thing is, then put it into a poem and listen, it doesn't need to rhyme, who cares? Just write it down. And then number four is, turn the poem into praise. Remember how David changed, he was honest first and then in verse three and five, it changes, it turned into a praise. So when I started realizing that in my own life, when I started giving God praise for who he is in my life, my poem turned into praise and then Write a paragraph or how many, how many sentences you want to write about the goodness and the character of God. Find scriptures and just write it down. And then the fifth thing is read the Psalm of Lament out loud. The honest prayer expressing now your heart to God. I would love you to have a go at that. Let me pray for you. Father, we thank you so much for your grace and your mercy, your loving kindness towards us. Thank you that you are a good, good father. And Lord, that you understand all our concerns, our anxieties. And Lord, we thank you that you will meet all of our needs according to your riches in glory in Christ Jesus. Amen.